Hello people, how are you? In this video, we want to look at this drug, imatinib mesylate. Basically, this is an anti-cancer drug. It is coming under the category of targeted drugs. Okay, so uh, if you go back to your pharmacology, you have many types of anti-cancer drugs, right? And one, uh, you have cytotoxic drugs, etc., etc. But this one, imatinib, uh, is a targeted drug. Okay, targeted, targeted. See. You should know this BCRABL tyrosine kinase inhibitor imatinib is a targeted anti-cancer drug. It is used actually to treat CML that is chronic myeloid leukemia. This you should know. There are so many other types of targeted drugs. But in this video, we are looking at imatinib, which is what? Say it people. Imatinib is a anti-cancer targeted drug. It is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor BR, BR, BCRABL, right? Yeah, BCR ABL ty uh, gene tyrosine kinase inhibitor. It is a, uh, what else did we say? That's it, is it? Targeted drug. So these are the four points you have learned. Okay. What is the main usage of this? Um, the main usage is to treat chronic myeloid leukemia. Okay. Now, what is chronic myeloid leukemia? Do you know? Yeah, uh, we'll come to that. <clears throat> Basically, what are the other drugs? Imatinib, Nilotinib, Dasatinib, if you can remember. But in the exam, they can ask you only Imatinib. Learn that. It is also used in the treatment of gastrointestinal stromal cell tumors, GIST, okay, which are arising from the intestinal cells of Kajal, okay. Uh, basically, if it is, uh, uh, if it is large and preoperatively they want to shrink it, they use this. Also, they use it for the control of the metastasis, etc. And uh, coming to eosinophilia, even for eosinophilia, they are giving this uh, because some uh, eosinophilia is because of this tyrosine kinase uh, genes, okay. Mutations in the receptor tyrosine kinase genes okay so that is why even for eosinophilia they are giving imatinib <clears throat> now look at this table here which lists uh, the drugs used in the treatment of acute leukemia so in the induction phase they are giving imatinib consolidation phase again imatinib can be given it's all oral and uh, maintenance also they are giving oral okay imatinib so for leukemia okay that is which type of leukemia acute lymphoblastic leukemia okay so acute lymphoblastic leukemia they are giving especially if the there is a star next to imatinib if you notice there's a star star they're saying if philadelphia chromosome is positive then only they are giving this okay so we have added that information here you can also give it for the treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia this is more in children right if the philadelphia chromosome is positive all is more common in children isn't it so imatinib so imatinib is very useful they have found it very very good for uh, cml and um, all these conditions with philadelphia chromosome which is positive okay now coming to uh, uh, how you will use uh, um, imatinib in cml so basically they are saying in chronic phase accelerated phase in the blast crisis okay etc then um, the first line for cml they are saying is imatinib second line also is imatinib with other drugs and they have seen that there is very good response to imatinib okay so do you know what chronic myeloid leukemia is? It's a type of leukemia where you have myelocytes, right? See, normally blood will have RBCs, neutrophils, etc. But can you see in blood, can you see myelocytes? Yes, these are immature sites that are coming from the bone marrow, which should not be in the blood, right? My myelocyte, metamyelocyte have come off to the uh, blood, right? So basically it's a myeloid progenitor cell. So see, where is that myelocyte? Myelocyte, where is myelocyte? Here, here, here. Myeloblast, myelocyte. Look at this. Promyelocyte. So basically, this is a, this is supposed to give rise to a neutrophil. So myelocyte is supposed to give birth to a neutrophil. And neutrophil is supposed to be in the blood. But you are seeing myelocyte in the blood. Okay. That means uh, the premature cells have come off into the blood. So that is leukemia. Okay. From where did they come? From the bone marrow. So, let us see. So, you have chronic myeloid leukemia in this. In that Philadelphia chromosome, that is you have to write this in the exam 9 and 22. N translocation 9 and 22, very important. From 9 and 22, those chromosomes, those two chromosomes are involved. BCRABL positive. Okay. <clears throat> so, they have shown here how uh, chromosome 9 and chromosome 22 <clears throat> normally are. ABL is on one thing and BCR is in one thing. But, but there is a translocation and there is a fusion gene here. BCR, ABL, fusion gene. So that is the where the name is coming from. Okay. 
BCR, ABL. Okay. So these people will have massive splenomegaly. So they have shown the spleen here. And they'll have anemia. It's typical of all leukemias usually. And they'll have bleeding tendency. And uh, what else? They'll have gout, etc. They can have. Okay. So what will you see in the blood picture in CML? Guys, are you focusing? What are we looking at? Considering that we are talking about imatinib, imatinib, we thought let us look a little into CML, right? Just a small recap. So in the blood, we told you that you will see myeloblasts, right? Myelocyte, sorry, myelocyte. Okay. So myelocytes are there. You'll have to, you can draw this diagram in the exam if you want. And um, what else? How the bone marrow will look. Bone marrow will be hypercellular, right? It's a leukemia, basically. And there will be increased myeloid erythroid ratio, obviously. Myeloid will be more. Then uh, you will have to check for this gene. And you will have to confirm the positive, uh, that it is positive. So, fish technique also they have done. For the Philadelphia chromosome, basically. Then you can check that neutrophils. Mature neutrophils are more. Okay. Then they can have gout. We already told you this. How will you treat? See. Imatinib. Imatinib. So we finally reached where we had to reach. Right. Imatinib. It is going to induce apoptosis of these BCR ABL positive cells. Okay. And this is a targeted anti-cancer drug. So it will look for these cells which have this BCR ABL positive. Right. And it will kill those cells, apoptosis, though they will kill themselves looks like, yeah. So you can also do bone marrow transplant and typical of all cancers, you can do chemotherapy, irradiation, etc. Splenectomy if required. So that's it guys. So we also took a insight into chronic myeloid leukemia. In this video, we want to look at, we wanted to look at imatinib misylate and we have done that. Bye bye.